Hi and welcome back to a new video. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how I installed VMware Fusion Pro for free on macOS. Since Broadcom have taken over VMware they've made their VMware Fusion Pro version free for personal use on macOS and in this video I'm going to cover how to download VMware Fusion Pro and how I installed it on my Mac. These instructions should work for both Intel and Apple silicone machines also. So let's get started. So the first thing to do is to download the installer. If we head over to the VMware desktop hypervisor page, we can click the download button here. This will take us to the Broadcom site. You will need a free Broadcom account to log in here. If you don't already have an account, then go to the login link here and select register to create an account for free. And then once you have an account, you can log in here. So once you've logged in, you will likely see this page. So click on the icon on the top bar and select VMware Cloud Foundation. Now this will load another page with a list of VMware software and we want to scroll down the list and select VMware Fusion. So where the next page loads, click on the VMware Fusion 13 Pro for personal use link here. Now click on the link for the version you want to download. Usually this would be the latest version. However, the Mac I'm filming this on is running Mac OS Monterey. So I'm going to select version 13.5.2 as 13.6 is not supported on Monterey. If you find that the version you download doesn't support your version of Mac OS, then try downloading either a newer or an older version to see if that helps. When the download page loads, you must agree to the terms by clicking this checkbox. The download option won't be available until you have clicked this checkbox. So with the box ticked, click on the cloud icon to start the download of the software. And I'm going to save it onto my desktop. So now with the download complete, find the location you save the software and double click it to start the installation process. So you should get a window that looks similar to this. So double click on the icon in the middle of this window and the installer will start. So firstly, it will be verified and you'll need to click on the open button here to continue and then enter your password and click OK. And after a few moments, the installer is complete and the first setup wizard starts. So click agree to accept the license terms and then click on the option that says I want to license VMware Fusion 13 Pro for personal use and click continue and then click done. And now VMware Fusion Pro will start and as this is the first time it runs you will receive this message. Now VMware Fusion needs certain access so click OK on this message if you accept these permissions. The next message is an optional step, however it should improve interaction with your VMs. So I'm going to click on OK and then open System Preferences. Now this will open your accessibility options. So click the padlock and enter your password to unlock the options. And then enable VMware Fusion. So if you're using a different version of macOS, this window might look slightly different, but the process is the same. So you can now close this window. And at this point, you're ready to start creating VMs. So to create a VM, you can simply drag an ISO image like this Ubuntu installer I have here onto the VMware Fusion window, and then start creating your virtual machine with the wizard. So I'm just going to set some default settings for the virtual machine and then click finish and then save to power my new virtual machine. So when you do power on a virtual machine, you will receive this message and it informs you of a security mechanism that is used by VMware Fusion. So it's fine to ignore this message. So I will click OK to continue. And with that, our new VM will boot. 
So thanks very much for watching. I do hope this video helped. Please consider subscribing if you like the video or leave a comment down below and I'll see you soon.